Hello and welcome to video number six, looking at how to write about the extract um, in chapter one of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, this quotation has got so many things in it, uh, the extract anyway, and I've just tried to narrow it down, but you could write a whole essay just on this one paragraph. But the doctor's case was what struck me. He was the usual cut and dry apothecary. Uh, that means chemist really, but he's using this old fashioned language um, I don't know why, to be honest, of no particular age and colour, with a strong Edinburgh accent and about as emotional as a bagpipe. Well, sir, he was like the rest of us. Every time he looked at my prisoner, I saw that sawbones turn sick and white with desire to kill him. I knew what was in his mind, just as he knew what was in mine, and killing being out of the question, we did the next best. So let's analyse the extract. The Doctor shares Enfield's desire to murder Hyde. They're prevented from doing this by social convention or the law. However, the desire to kill is simply transferred to the desire to extort money from Hyde. A Marxist interpretation would argue that Stevenson is suggesting that the class system itself is creating this corruption in society, where the Doctor and Enfield feel they can extort money from Hyde. So you've got to remember that this whole novella is about men at a certain status in society. They're all uh, upper middle class men. Uh, so the class system is being examined here. They feel above the law. You'll be used to this if you've been studying an Inspector Calls, for example. Enfield's confession proves that they are above the law, because that means he can confess, but he's still going to get away with it, so he knows confessing is no big deal. Although he censors himself and doesn't tell Utterson that Jekyll's signature appears on Hyde's cheque, he has no caution about confessing to this crime, because he knows he can get away with it. So again, I'm showing you this because uh, Enfield is far worse than Hyde, and so is the Doctor. So these are apparently, you know, good men, gentlemen, who really want to kill Hyde. Um, and, all right, they don't actually kill him, but they extort £100 out of him. Um, whereas Hyde has done virtually nothing wrong. Um, and Stevenson begins the novel in this way to show that these middle-class men are hypocrites and to make us feel some sympathy for Hyde. Okay let's look at the bold vocabulary choices that will be relevant to every single essay. Uh, you will always be able to refer to the social conventions that uh, Stevenson is writing about. Now my class um, have become really good because I keep banging on about it and I'm doing the same in my videos that whatever the question is it's always about society because Texts are always written about the society they're describing, or rather the society that they were written in, even if they're set in the future or the past. It's actually their society now that's being dealt with. And so you will always use this phrase, uh, society, this phrase, this word, society. It's always, always relevant to this society that um, Stevenson's writing about. Uh, it will always be relevant to talk about the class system. Uh, if you understand what I'm on about here by the Marxist interpretation, good, use that. If you don't understand that this is a Marxist interpretation, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Um, and it is probably going to be relevant to talk about the desire to extort money um, because it's relevant here with Hyde, but it's also going to be relevant later when we see that um, Utterson and Enfield both think that Jekyll is being blackmailed and blackmail is an extortion of money. So that phrase will always be relevant. I uh, hope you found that useful. Next video coming tomorrow.